Yeah, so that's why. Why is it yes? Well, that's why. I, do you, do, you want, do should we go through the text messages that we've been exchanging <laughs> recently? Point we Why mentioned are you the white me a line. Specific time when it's fifty. Because the examiners will most likely he do did. It those. Yeah, in the same time, so. in the same place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bye. We won't see you next time. <laughs> we probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to MTP. We have changed because we're focusing strictly on mock tests. Mm -hmm. We're joined by Noel. Good morning. Here to do her mock test at Mill Hill Driving Test Centre. Yeah. How are you feeling? Fine. Okay. Better than last time. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. um, we did do a test here before, didn't we? So yeah. we're just trying to get ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. For sure. anyone that wants to know the results of the mock test, they'll be done at the end. So you can skip to the end. Mm -hmm. We're going to start our mock test now. Yeah. Sure. Nothing too tough, just to tell me a question. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to tell me? How would you know if the brake lights were working? The brake light, um, reflection of the windows. Excellent answer. Yeah. A little bit later with the show me question. Obviously the manoeuvre and everything else that you'd be doing on a real driving test. Okay. Now, okay. we're going to be doing independent driving with signs. Okay. So we'll be looking at a no sat nav. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get started? Yep. I'd like to wish you the best of luck when sure. you're ready and it's safe. Drive on. We're just going to um, do our bay park to start with, actually. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind just turning to the right, mm -hmm. stop wherever you'd like to stop, and then reverse into one of the bays, please. Okay. Thank you. When you're ready. No one here, but I still have to check. It's a good habit, isn't it? Yeah. Shows the examiner that we know how to drive safely. Enter here. Um, ideally, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, it depends where you'd like to go. You do have some bays behind us on both oh, sides. Oh, okay, I can so use here. You could do. I did last time for what? On the real test? Yeah. Not 100%, but it's in. Okay. Uh, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. We're running out of space behind, so if you are planning to go more back... No, I don't have. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try, I will try. So, what do you think? Are you finished? Yes. Good. Yes, nice. I'm in. Nice opening the door. You know, secured the car and had a check. That's good. You can do that on the test. Good. Um, so, we're finished with the maneuver. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do next is just to exit the car park on the left, and then I'll okay. give you the directions as we go. Okay. When you're ready. Head to the left. Um, when we exit. 
sit here. Would you turn right, please? Um, Thank you. I did a risk it to drive, yeah? Remember there's a good way to know. I know it. What is it? If you have your child, you will able to cross the road, yes or no. Alright, cool. There you go. I remember this last time in the test. Helped me so much when I was doing my mock tests. Because I had this issue where I didn't know if I should go or not go. And, you know, would you walk out just solve that problem? I can do it in real life, but I don't want to do it because I'm the test. Yes, it's a driving test. Yeah. You. and then we're just going to go straight ahead to the stop sign <laughs> quick question what shape is the stop sign is it a hexagon or b octagon I drove last time here. So did I. <laughs> so well done for coming to a complete stop at the stop sign. Yeah, I even noticed you sort of counted to three or something like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, as long as we come to a complete stop, that's good enough for the examiners. guys that's joining us for this mock test route this is a driving test route as all the mock tests are at MTP so if you're studying your routes this is the place to be don't forget to like follow subscribe and all that good stuff see the white car would you pull up just behind the white car Thank you. Don't worry about the yellow line. Just try and stop here on this single yellow line and give yourself some space. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, shortly, we're going to have a roundabout, just a little bit further ahead. Mm -hmm. There'll be a sign just before the roundabout. Twin roundabout. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The sign will... Let's try that again. The sign will say... Edgeware, hiccuped as I was talking there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd like you to drive on. Try to follow the sign to Edgeware. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. When you're ready, drive on. Okay. Out. It's a bit hard to read from this distance, but we might see the big white sign just coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, top tip, slow down a little so that we got a little bit of extra time to take in this information. Edgeware. Good. So two roundabouts. First second. roundabout. Second. So two roundabouts. First. Oh, first right, left. Good. And then second roundabout. Uh, right, maybe? Correct. Yes. observations good looking at the next roundabout so that you can make a plan for the next roundabout 
If it's safe, yeah, we can go wherever is safe. Yes, so new road, new rules. I'd like us to take the next road on the right. Good observations. So, for everybody that is joining us and is still here, hope you've uh, smashed that like button. And we'll just be saying the nice things that are happening here that we're seeing from No Wells Driving. And if you do want the driver faults, if any, that will be at the end. Would you just pull up on the left here by the tree for me, please? I spy with my little eye. Tree. Yeah, just a little bit closer, just so that we're not blocking the driveways. Normally where there's a tree, there's going to be like a raised section of curb. Mm -hmm. And that's a good place to slow down and stop. And just bear in mind to keep a reasonable distance from the curb, so that we're not too far away. It is far. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want it to walk through? It's okay, we're going to move on in a moment. But if you want to, you've got the cheat code on this car where you can show the yellow line and the edge of the pavement. So we just want to move that yellow line towards the edge of the pavement and that will keep okay. us a reasonable distance. Right, what we're going to do on this road is an emergency stop. I'm going to put my hand up and say the word stop. Then I'd like you to do your emergency stop, just like you've been practicing with your crazy driving instructor. Are you ready to drive on? Yes. No questions? No. All right. Famous last words. Take your time. Drive on when you're ready. If it's safe, I'll put my hand up and say the word stop. At that point, I'd like you to do your emergency stop. You can hold everything. <laughs> Only my valuables. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Stop. Drive on when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. Would you take the next left, please? I won't ask you to do that again. Just drive as normal. Okay. No emergency stop again? Yeah. All done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finished. Good. And if you don't mind, just turning left one more time. Lovely mirror checks, thank you. Nice observations, good lean and look. Or oh, we're gonna go old school now, peep and creep. Yeah, see, that's why I'm not really using that one anymore. Uh, peep means to look. Oh, okay. And creep means to move slowly. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. When you don't know, go slow. It's a new one for me. One of my students taught me that one. What do you reckon? It's okay? Mm -hmm. If you don't know, go slow. Yeah, it's better. Right, yeah, I thought so as well. Turning left. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue with the independent drive again. We'll be following the signs now to Totteridge. Okay. Okay, so just the next sign coming up on the left. You may see it near the bus stop. 
If you wouldn't mind trying to follow the sign to Totteridge, please. Mm -hmm. Left and left. Yes. <laughs> Nice observations, well done. Thank you. Right, lovely. So there will be a few more signs coming up along the way. Mm -hmm. The next one will say Central London, Sea London. Mm -hmm. And then there will be another one if you don't see the first sign that's coming up. It will say Mill Hill. They're exactly the same direction, okay? So the first sign will say Central London, so if you can see that one uh, we'll have a look right yes thank you oh the road comes in mm -hmm. I came here last time. Why I didn't I'm gonna use the middle one? Why I have to use this? Because I know it's in the right. It's easier to remember. If we're turning right, always right. use the right lane. But what's make it difficult when you want me to move to the second? I will explain. At the beginning, right, okay? Mm-hmm. In the this roundabout, I have to go in the middle. No? It's to move. Driving test, so I can't answer too much. Just okay. try and stay safe. Right. There you go. So that's simple right lane into right yeah. lane. Yeah, and you can always do that. It's just easy to which, remember. Uh... So we've passed the first exit, which is just on our left. Uh -huh. Second exit is this one coming up at the Shell petrol station. And the third exit is the one just shortly after. You want me to the next exit. Mm -hmm. Oh no, different from the about what I told you. Do I have to still put the signal? Would it benefit? Yeah. Okay, next round about just go straight ahead, second exit. Try not to break when we 
Tim. Yeah, try to accelerate to keep him from. Would you turn left here, please? Thank you. And then turning left again, just here, following the bus. Thank you. Again? Just following the road. Oh, okay. So if you have a look, it's just following the road. See the road markings? Yeah. Yeah. So no need to signal. At the end of the road, turning left, following the bus again. Thank you. And if you just stop here for me, see the learner car. If it's safe, we want to go behind the learner car and at the roundabout, which is here, turn mm -hmm. right. So if it's right. safe, yeah, just try to move us over behind the learner car. Thank you. Yeah. And at the roundabout, turn right. See the learner car? This one? Where? Where's the learner car? Which one? Is it a learner car? Learner car, okay. Learner car, yeah. Oh, you want me to go? Well, we're turning right, okay. third exit. So just having a look at the learner car because that's okay. the reference that we had for turning right. It's confusing this one. So that's the one that I think you were mentioning before, mm -hmm. having to change yeah. the lanes, yeah. okay? So it's all about the mirrors and the signals. As long as we're doing our mirror checks and signals, we'll be safe from roundabouts, okay? to turn right again at the next roundabout, third exit please. Don't be scared to signal. How is it beneficial if we signal early? Yeah. Now they see the signal? Yeah? stay the signal sometimes because the steering needs to be a lot the opposite way and we will turn right if it's safe yes please third exit Yes, excellent. And what's the middle lane used for? Middle. Yes.
the next roundabout, Staples Corner, the largest roundabout at Mill Hill, Hendon. Like us to turn right, third exit. Just a little bit as our steering is quite jagged, sharp. Yeah, chill a little. Time to get smoother. Mm -hmm. That exit. So if I didn't put my hand there. We were going into that red car. Thank you. Would you turn left here? Just into this little petrol station for me. Thank you. I don't think there's a way out on the other side, but let's go have a look. Turn left again for me, please. Left? Yeah, just here. Thank you. Here? Mm hmm And then mm -hmm. just follow around here for me to the right. Inside? Yes, please. Yeah, it says no exit. I just wanted to be nosy and see if that was an exit, but it's not. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go around to the right again. So if you see over there, there's some arrows. Mm -hmm. I don't think they say exit, but we'll be going towards the arrows. You see the arrow just over there? Which arrow? Just have a look out the this window. That's, yeah, there's one there as well. Okay. Yeah, and that yellow one here. So just following the arrows, take us around. Normally they say exit, but they're not saying exit this time. I'm just going to go straight ahead and you should see a way out arrow. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to follow that arrow straight to the way out. And at the way out, the exit, I'd like us to turn right, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Again to the roundabout? Yes. Why? Uh, <laughs> nothing too tough. We're just going to turn left. Okay. Takes us back to the test centre. It's just a little shortcut. I hate you. So, we'll make it nice and simple. At the roundabout, turn left, first exit. Thank you. the name of the roundabout wrong. Damn it. Oh. Apologies to everybody watching. It's not Staples Corner, it's Sterling Corner. Sterling. I always forget that for some reason. So this is Sterling Corner roundabout here. It's the biggest roundabout. I noticed Mel Hill has a lot of roundabouts. <sighs> so many. And they're big and busy. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
The white one? The white one, yeah. approaching a roundabout. The roundabout would like you to take the second exit straight ahead. Yes. Second. Yes, please. Now you said uh, second exit? Straight ahead. No, no, it's just a chat, just so they can see where, where we are on the road, just to give them something to look at, really. chat to see but there's lane three lane two and be. lane one correct so what we're about to do might be safer option
the roundabout and left the first exit, almost back. Stop escaping the roundabouts. Turn left. Yes, please. please. Any reason why we're stopping? Yeah, I'm looking. Can you see that signal? Mm-hmm. What way was the bus signal? Uh, left. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I want to be sure, sometimes they would just drop. Did we arrive at the roundabout? Well, let me just put it this way. Let's turn mm -hmm. left. We arrived at the roundabout before the bus. Yeah. So why are we waiting for the bus if we're there first? First yeah. come, first served. Okay. Yeah, and the bus is signaling as well. Turning left again. Done. Done, done. Done like a kipper. Oh, I know. Yeah. Turning left again. Thank you. Right, now this one does not have to be perfect as it will be at the end of the driving test. The examiners just say, we just want to get off the road. Yes. So just drive forwards into any bay on the right. Just coming across, doesn't have to be perfect. Any bay on the right, just forwards. Yeah, and then just stop us anywhere here. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. Right, lovely. Cool. We'll also know it's officially the end of the driving test when the examiners ask us to switch the engine off. So, thank you very much. Yeah. And, as we all know, it is a tradition around here to ask... What do you feel? How do you feel it went? I know. It is. You do, do you? Okay, big let's fail. hear. A big fail, is it? Right, why? As usual. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's nothing that um, isn't new to us. Fine, right? Why though? What's what, what's your reason? Any reason? Oh. I know you can try and read my horrible no. writing. You're just <laughs> welcome to try and read it if you like. No, just I can see one. Three okay, or... yes, there is. You're correct. Yeah. yeah. So there's three. I series. know you. What you will say? You will say in the all in the round. Uh, we do have someone joining in here, unknown for P. Um, anyone that's judged during examiner, moderators, please, thank you for your service. Uh, start the poll, please. Uh, it's a roundabout there mm -hmm. from unknown user for P. Roundabouts. Um, uh, not all of them, no. Not all of them. In fact... When I join the road... None of them. Yeah, when I join the road. And the car come and you say sorry. Do you know? Yes. Now that wasn't necessarily so much the roundabout uh -huh. as after the roundabout. What is it? So we exit on the apex roundabout. And as we exit, we're drifting over into the left lane. Mm -hmm. Then we suddenly, quite sharply, and I've marked it down for control steering, went back into the mm. right. Yeah. At that point, the other car behind us, whoa, what's going on there? And then you've gone in the right lane and they've gone past us in the left lane. So they've undertaken. Oh. So I put my hand up and I said, sorry, mainly because we just suddenly went whoosh, and I went like that. Okay. But it was so quick. It's very hard for me to react to. So what I've mentioned to us today on the driving test is I've noticed there's this sharpness to our steering. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a panic state. It's not stable? Yeah, we need to kind of breathe a little bit more and just try to drop the shoulders a bit, slow down maybe a little bit, try not to be too fast too quickly. Why? Very gradual. Okay. And gradual steering. Speed. Yeah, so just gradually going harder on the gas. And if we go and step on the accelerator pedal quite firmly, it makes the steering get very sharp and mm. twitchy. So if you're a bit smoother and, and um, less less quick on putting pressure onto the pedal, okay. you'll probably notice the steering gets a bit smoother. Mm -hmm. If we do feel the steering's getting a bit sharp and hard to control because we're having to move the steering very quick and sharp relax the accelerator okay. and we'll get all that control back okay mm -hmm. so none of them were really for the roundabout they were all for this reason that we're talking about at the moment so this happened on the show me question as well do you remember when we did open and close the yes. window yes. i asked us if we could see the road marking 
At that point, we Why mentioned are you the white me a line. Specific time when it's fifty. Because the examiners will most likely he do did. it. In those. Yeah, in the same time, so, in the same place. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I'm just recreating oh, the test. Okay. We're not called mock test plus for no reason. Oh. Making everything as real as possible. Not yeah, in the same time. place. He asked me if it's safe. I've been doing this all well. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the last serious driver fault now was for clearance. So what happened is we almost hit the pavement on the left. Do you remember you said to me, I'm close mm. to the pavement? Mm. Okay, so why is that happening? I could cast my opinion, um, but let's ask the driver and see what the driver thinks. Just panic. Just panic, okay. Now I would highly recommend trying not to look into any area longer than one second. So if we're looking in the mirror for two, three, four seconds because we want to change lanes, it's very likely that we'll lose control of where the vehicle's going okay. because we're looking somewhere else for a long period of time. Okay. So a mirror check at a glance, just a one second back on the road, one second back on the road, one more second back on the road, and we can just keep doing this. But what we don't want to do is this. Because mm -hmm. when we're doing this, the car's moving into the pavement. So when you look back up like that, you're like, holy crap, the car's going beep, 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 and we're swerving away from the pavement. It's like a shock, isn't it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what's the, the top tip for avoiding this to happen in the future? Don't staring in the Lovely. That's yeah. it. Right, there's a few little minor faults here and there. Um, the you? Minute, we've got one, two, three, four minor faults. So a few. Are you sure? Yeah. Five. Four. Four, okay. We'll Actually, see. now that you say it, five. Clap, clap. Don't say five. <laughs> <laughs> um, two for the maneuver. We had to do a correction on the maneuver, the reverse bay park. Okay, what's wrong with this? Uh, we just get one minor fault if we have to move forwards and backwards to correct the position. So there's nothing really wrong with it. Okay. Just that the examiners mark us down. If we do it all in reverse without having to move forwards and backwards after, that's clean. Mm -hmm. uh, if we do the correction, um, moving forwards and backwards, then they just mark us one. You can take multiple corrections, it's still just one. Okay, this is the first one. Yeah, the okay. observations as well with the maneuver, when you did the correction as you move forward, you did have a little look around. Just before you start to reverse back mm -hmm. after, another look over both shoulders. Okay. And Cass has marked us another minor there. Um, we got the use of signals. So when we were following the road, when we were following the bus, no need to signal, just following the road. Okay. So we're showing a left signal, might be misinterpreted, pulling up on the left or driving into a driveway or any side roads that might be coming up. Uh, the last, oh no, second to last, because uh, you reminded me there's actually five. Um, so on number four, uh, mm. signals correctly. So what happened is when we were doing our last big roundabout, Mill Hill mm -hmm. Circus, um, we were signaling right to go round again. Yeah. Um, as we still had that right signal going, you actually yeah. put it back on again. Um, we moved out the right lane and into the middle lane, which was nice. That was good that you moved from the right lane to the middle lane. We talked about that. That's yeah. why we went round again. So good job there. So what the mistake? You would like to swap the right signal for a left signal mm -hmm. because we're leaving the right lane and we're moving over to the left, to the left. into the middle lane. Okay. So we had the incorrect signal. So we didn't signal correctly. Okay. If we're moving to the left, we want to show a left signal. We had the right signal. I didn't do this. We accidentally put the right signal on. Okay. I don't know if you meant to put the left one on, but when you reapplied the signal because it turned off, you mm. reapplied it to the right. At okay. that point, we really wanted to put it back onto the left. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants to rewind, it's the not the last roundabout we did, but the second to yeah, last I roundabout. Am. Okay. Um, that. Oh, one last one. I the know, undue maybe. hesitation. So do you remember when we arrived at the roundabout and asked you the bus? The bus was signalling left. Mm -hmm. And I also said that we arrived at the, bu the, before the bus before the bus as well. There's no danger. The bus is very slow. It's a bit further oh. away. It's signaling left, so it's not going to go towards us. So there's no need for us to stop at the roundabout. We can continue. Okay. So it's just marked down as an undue hesitation. Any questions? No. No? No. All right. Well, <laughs> I think that just leaves me to give chat's verdict. We've got 88%. 
Fail. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say pass. As usual. But uh, yeah, so that's why. Why do you say yes? Well, that's why. I, do you, do you want, do, should we go through the text messages that we've been exchanging <laughs> recently? Do you want to go there? <laughs> no, no, no. Get your lessons in, girl. Come on. I what's hate up? it. It's, do, do, can I share with everybody? Share, I don't care. It's free. You're not even paying. I hate I Okay, I hate it. <laughs> you know why? Hmm? Share it. Because, one, look at this. Look around. Down. And look in the sign. Uh, you make us, halos, my head confusing. Look here and here and here. It's easy, guys, to take license to travel to the moon than in the UK. And on that bombshell, I think it just leaves me to say an extra special thank you to you for sharing. <laughs> maybe too much on this video, I don't know. But we'll be back for more. Well, maybe we won't. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But no, we, we, would, we could we would possibly. Not see We'll see. Inshallah. Inshallah, yes. If we have this pass, maybe you'll be back for pass plus. That will reduce mm -hmm. your insurance. Mm -hmm. We can do that for Yeah, free. I will do that. Um, or we might be la, back. La, don't say or. or. <laughs> don't say or. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye. Don't see. I will not see you next time. Bye. Bye. We won't <laughs> see you next time. We probably will. <laughs> no. Let's go.